Well, tonight's call is going to be how to get an 800 plus credit score. Again, my name is Jerry Goins here and I love helping people win. So let's get into it here. What is credit? Well, credit is the ability to access goods and services now, but pay for them later. So it's basically being able to access goods and services on faith. Now, FICO scores, they range from 300 to 850. And of course, the higher, the better. Now, credit, that's how we actually buy land and property. That's how we buy vehicles. That's how we fund businesses, how we fund education, how we fund health care sometimes. And it's also how we fund our lifestyle. I'm talking about travel, vacations, and living the lifestyle that you deserve. Now, how that responds to community. Credit is very important with community because the higher your credit score, the better the community. Don't believe me? Listen. Better credit allows people to become homeowners, right? Now, when you own your own home, you pay your taxes, and that when you pay your taxes, it, it goes to improve the area where you live in. Now, when you rent, that money goes to the landlord. That person goes, he might not even be in your area. But when you own a home, your money stays right there in the community. And you're more likely to vote in local elections and decide your leaders as well. That's very important. Now, if you're renting, you might not be there for long. You don't really care about the local government and anything like that. But this is how we actually build better communities by building credit. When you have better credit and you own your home, you take more pride in your property and you take better care of it. I mean, think about it. When's the last time you knew somebody that was renting a home or an apartment that went out and power washed the driveway, right? Or maybe even picked up litter on the side of the, of the sidewalk, even though it's not their specific property after they're going for a walk or something like that. You have more pride in your community. And what that does, it actually lowers the crime rate and it actually provides you with better schools. So it's a close tie to good credit and a great community. Now, what's the cost of poor credit? Now, poor credit actually keeps you from living what we call the American dream, right? 42 million people have a score in the 500s or lower. That's one in four people. One in five have a mistake on their credit that's worth at least 50 points. And bad credit can cost you $250,000 to $1 million in interest and fees alone over your lifetime. It can actually keep you from funding a business or getting emergency funds as well. Now, I know here in North Carolina, we have what we call Hurricane Alley here, and I don't mean my wife, <laughs> but it basically means that whenever there are uh, the right conditions, we're right in the lane of danger whenever there's a hurricane. And usually the SBA will actually allow people to get emergency loans, but you have to have good credit to get it. Not everybody can get that. Now, when hurricanes hit, we're out of power. We're locked in our homes because they have a quarantine out, especially if the power is out. They don't want people roaming the streets. Right. And a lot of people are without work. Very similar to what we're experiencing right now in the time of this, this virus and this epidemic and this outbreak that we're experiencing now. But isn't it crazy to get these emergency funds? You have to have good credit. It just blows my mind. And almost half of jobs check credit before making a hiring decision which means if you have bad credit, you probably are not going to have the best job that you could. So let's go into see what makes up your score. Very important. There are five categories and you start with a FICO score of 300. Remember, the number one thing that goes into your credit score is your payment history. Now that accounts for 35% or about 192 points. And that basically just looks at how on time are your payments. The second thing that goes into your credit um, profile is credit utilization. Credit utilization, that's 30% of your score or about 165 points. That just looks at how much of your credit are you using. I like to think of it like a car. When you look at your dash, it says you can go 160 miles per hour or maybe 120, you know, but anyway. Uh, so it looks at how much of that speed are you using on the dash. Now, if you're all the way up there running at top speed, it looks bad. You don't want to use all your credit. You want to use about 30% or less of your credit. And it's funny because that actually makes up 30% of your credit score. Age of credit is next. Age of credit is next. That's 
or about 82 points. Now that just looks at how long, how old is your oldest account. Now to have the best credit score, we're looking back into the nine year range. Looking into the next item, which is credit mix. It's really important to have a good credit mix. That accounts for 10% or about 55 points of your credit score. Now that just looks at how well do you handle different types of credit. Number five is new credit. That also accounts for 10% or about 55 points. So new credit and the credit mix, sometimes those are, are reversed, but new credit just looks at how often are you looking for new credit? How many times are you out looking for loans? Are you shopping around? And it, and it basically, think if you think about it, it's really asking how strapped are you for cash right now? Now, a lender is not going to give you money if they see that you're applying for credit every single month, every single week, because it looks like you don't handle money very well. So you want to only apply for credit when you need it and only when you know you can get it. That way you don't have to keep applying for place after place. Now, with your mortgages, when you go apply for a mortgage, what's really cool is they'll go ahead and put a a blanket over you. So when you apply for one mortgage, they know that you're mortgage shopping. You know, that doesn't mean you have bad credit just because you're mortgage shopping. And it doesn't ping your credit is bad for about a three month window. So you can run all the mortgage companies you want and it won't ding your credit. That's a tip for you right there. So 300 plus 550 points, that will equal a perfect score of 850. Now we do have clients here that have above 800 and we're more than happy to help you uh, get to that same exact level. Me personally, this company is what helped me purchase my first property and I was only in the company for five months. And it helped me get my credit score up about 100 points across all three bureaus and I was able to get my first property. And that's a, an amazing feeling to leave an apartment where you know, you can hear people breathing through the walls. <laughs> you know, you hear everything they're doing. You smell smoke coming in through the vents. You know, it's terrible. You can't even get parking because the, the parking lot's just crazy. You know, you got people's dogs walking all on your property, but it's not yours. So you can't do anything about that. It's good to have your own place. You know, you can have pets. You can paint the walls if you want to. You know, you can change the color. You can change the outside of your house if you want to. And you can also pass that down for generations. The, when you're renting, not there's nothing wrong with renting. But when you are renting, if you want to have generational wealth, you can't pass that down. So it's always important to have the best credit score so you can qualify for things like a mortgage. Now, how do I increase my credit score? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. This is what you're on the line for. You're like, Jerry, that's all nice and everything. And I know what you're saying. That's why I'm on the line right now. Get down to the meat and potatoes. I need to know how do I increase my credit score? Well, I'm going to give you some helpful tips, some strategies, and our secret weapon, which has helped over 50,000 people increase their credit score from poor to great. It's amazing. First things first, though, you have to check your credit report. Now, you can't go into battle, so to speak, and you don't know your opponent, okay? Or you don't have the right tools for battle. This right here, it helps you understand the landscape. This is your battleground. Your credit report is your battleground. You need to know the terrain. So first, you need to get a free, re uh, free report. You can get a free credit report once a year, thanks to the Fair Credit Reporting Act. They say that credit bureaus have to release your scores and your credit profile to you at least one time every year. And you can get that at annualcreditreport.com. Now, here are the important sections of your credit that you need to understand. You need to be able to understand revolving debt. For example, credit cards. These are debts that you don't pay off. Every time you pay it, it reduces the debt and you can use it again, just like a revolving door. Installment debt. That's like a car or a house note because it has a termination. You, you can actually pay that off. The next thing is charge-offs, okay? That means it's debt that has been canceled off. The most common is if you have a bank account that's in the negative for too long, they'll just charge it off and they'll just report it as a loss. The next thing is collections. Now, these are debts that have been sold to a collection agency 
and they're actively pursuing that debt still to this day. Inquiries. Okay, this is any attempt to get new debt. Remember I said new credit is when you try to get new debt. And if you're trying to get new credit a lot, it's going to show up as an inquiry each time and bring your score down. Just about three to five points each hard inquiry. So that's something that is on there as well. And also debt that doesn't belong to you. So these are five important sections and, and categories that you want to look at when you're looking at your credit report. Now, you want to take a sheet of paper and put revolving debt on it. Go down and list all of your credit cards. Take another sheet of paper. Write installment debt at the top of that. Write down all of your installment debt that you have that is reporting to the credit bureaus. Charge-offs. Do the same for charge-offs, collections, inquiries, and finally, debt that doesn't belong to you. Now, what do you mean debt that doesn't belong to you? You can have things on your credit report that aren't yours. Remember, I said one in five people have an error that's worth at least 50 points. Now, what if somewhere somewhere down the line you have a, a name that's very similar to someone else and they're very behind on, on their payments on something and you get a collection? And that's bringing down your score and it's not even yours. It's a problem, but you won't know about it until you check your battleground, until you check your credit report. Now, here's some more tips and tricks here. So each tip affects one of these five categories that I spoke about earlier. Number one is dispute the negative items. It's probably the most famous way to increase your credit score. Okay, and you're going to hear from a guest here in just a little bit about her journey with credit. And this is one of the things that she used to be, be able to dispute these negative items that are on her credit report. Now, writing dispute letters yourself can be time consuming, okay? We have lives. We don't want to sit here writing letters to the credit bureaus for each of our accounts. And you may not know all of your rights and what items to challenge versus what ones you can leave alone. Now, wouldn't it be cold if you found something on your credit report that you thought was negative, so you went in and you challenged it. And just because you challenged it, you started the statute of limitations over for that account. Now, what do you mean by that? Well, in most states, they have what's called statute of limitations. That just means that after a certain time period, that debt can no longer show up on your credit report. Most states is five to seven years. So let's say you were on your fourth year. This item was about to fall off anyway. And because you disputed it, it now started the clock over, and now you have to wait another four years, or you better do a really good job at disputing it and getting it off your credit report, when you could have just left it alone, and it would have fell off anyway. See, you don't want to start off putting yourself in a worse situation, but you do want to get educated about your credit and know what's on it. So that's a double-edged sword when you dispute items for yourself. You really want to let an expert do that for you. Now, the next tip is you can ask for an increase on your credit cards, but don't use your increase. That's another genius thing, and it's actually one of the most um, immediate changes on your credit report. So you can call your credit card company today, and as long as you've been making on-time payments, and maybe you even have a better credit score now than you did when you first got it. Let's say you got it two or three years ago before you knew about credit even and how to take care of a credit your credit profile and now you know how to take care of it you've been making on time payments call up each one of your credit companies and ask for a limit increase what this is going to do is it's going to lower your utilization ratio now why is that because adding more adding an increase is like adding to the speedometer on your car right so you were going 100 you were only able to go 160 now you don't beefed it up to 250 miles per hour, right? But you're still only going 45. So it looks like you're not using up more of that speed that's on your dashboard, and it looks better for the credit bureaus and the credit reporting agencies, and it looks better for your credit score. Now, this can lead to instant boost, but if you have a negative payment history, guess what? They're not going to boost it up for you. You know, so that's the that's the double edged sword on that. 
Now, you can also become an authorized user. This is also really famous, and it's floating around on YouTube and things like that. And this is basically where you ask a friend or a relative, hey, can I get added to your account? I know you have really good credit. I know you have a really old credit as well. You know, you have a credit card that's maybe seven years old. Um, let me get added to it because I know it's in good standing. Parents, this is a really good thing to do for your children because what happens is, is they get added to, as an authorized user. It starts reporting your, your on-time payments and your credit history um, on their future credit score. Now, when they turn 18, it looks like they have, you know, seven years or, or, or five or four years worth of credit age on their credit report already. And that's amazing, especially for somebody that absolutely has no credit themselves that's coming out. OK, so we're looking at this. Is, this is, can be hard to do because being a primary trade line holder, <clears throat> or excuse me, this can be hard to do because a lot of people may not even trust you, even if you don't give them the card. You know, so don't even give your kids the card. All right. But it's hard to find that. But being a primary trade line holder is much better. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. Now, here's the last round of tips here for you. OK, and then I'm going to get into our secret weapon and our live guests. Get a secured credit card. This is helpful if you can't get a primary credit card, but it doesn't report as strong as a normal one. Okay, That's the only thing, and it requires a down payment. So you have to put like 200 bucks or something like that on a secured card, but at least it starts building people's credit profiles that have what's called flat credit, which I mean a flat profile, which basically means you don't have anything reporting. You have to have something to report. Next tip is to report your rent payments. Hey, you're living there anyway. You might as well let these payments report to the credit bureaus. It can just be kind of tricky to find a, a trustworthy company to do this for you. But it's absolutely a great idea because it adds to the length of your credit history and it adds to your payment history as well. Another tip is not to close out any old credit cards. This is going to increase your utilization ratio for the remaining accounts and lower your and uh, increase your score. Okay. And you can also seek legal help, all right? Oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, okay, so rewind. Sorry about that. When you close out old credit cards, it will increase your utilization ratio for the remaining counts, and it will lower your score because it's taking away some of that speed that you had on your dash. Um, so now you can also, the next tip is to seek legal help. Now, credit and debt attorneys, they can actually sue the credit bureaus and the collection agencies on your behalf, and you get paid. Only problem with that is they can be expensive unless they'll do the work for you pro bono, which means that they don't take any, any payment up front, but when they win the case for you, they take the money out of the settlement, and they give you your portion. That can be hard to find as well, but these are absolutely great tips. Um, so let's get into our secret, our secret weapon, and that's Nove money. Now, Nove just basically means new beginning because that's exactly what we're going to do for your money. We're going to give you a new beginning on your money. But first, let's hear a live testimonial from an actual Nove money client. Okay. Now, I wanted to introduce to the line tonight a young lady who has a phenomenal testimonial. She became involved with Nove as an affiliate and got busy helping people in her community as well. And, you know, I don't want to give away too much of her story, but just as 21 years old, her whole entire lifestyle has been transformed thanks to Nove. Miss Fernandez, are you on the line? Yes, I'm here. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing excellent. Glad to hear from you. Long time no see. But hey. I hear you got some great news from your, from Nove and your testimonial, and I think a lot of people, I mean, we got a few hundred on the line that would like to hear it. Take it away. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And I want to give it back to you um, because it is definitely a blessing. Um, all the people at Nove are like family to me. Um, although some of us are strangers to me, you are a huge asset to my life. So yes, wow. without further ado, um, I want to give my testimony. I became an affiliate um, in June of 2018, so it's almost my anniversary coming up. Wow. Um, and at that time, I was 19 years old, and I didn't really know much about the credit industry. Um, I started because my mother needed help with her credit, and you know, I was just young and learning the whole um, thing about credit. Um, when I was younger, my mother used to always tell us the importance about credit, 
although she didn't have credit herself, she just knew that it was important. She came to this country as an immigrant on a raft, and she crossed um, the ocean from Cuba to here to the United States. And, um, you know, she was an immigrant, single mother, um, living on welfare. We used to live in a project, um, and she was on basically every government help that you could get out there. And, um, and you know, at nighttime, we would have to park our car under street lights to make sure that her car wouldn't get broken in. And, um, you know, we was always scared at night, um, you know, make sure that we didn't get, nobody would break into the house. So when I uh, experienced all that growing up, I wanted to make a change when I became an adult at 18. Um, I didn't know what that looked like yet. I just knew that I wanted different for myself and, you know, obviously for my kids when I would have had them. And um, I used all that to basically slingshot myself into um, basically a pathway of my own success as as an adult. Um, And there's a famous quote out there from Michael Jordan that says, always turn a negative situation into a positive situation. And I used that as a stepping stone of seeing my mother go through all that. So when I became 18, I was a young mother, had children at a young age. Uh, So that gave me an extra boost to basically make a change. So I met this wonderful company. And to me, um, you know, every day I tell myself how blessed I am to basically be a part of such a wonderful organization. And um, last spring, so next month on April the 18th will be one year of me being a homeowner at 20 years old. I'm now 21. Um, So to me, that's a huge blessing. I basically did it with all the help from Nove. Everything I learned, um, I basically started with no credit. And with all the resources that the company basically gave me on how to quickly boost my credit with the many trade lines out there, I was able to go from an apartment where I was paying more than what I'm paying on mortgage um, to now ha- being a homeowner, having my own backyard where my kids could run freely. I could paint my walls like you were saying earlier. No, you, I couldn't paint my walls at my old apartment. Um, I'm now remodeling, uh, making my house, basically um, customizing it to how I want it to be. And it's a huge blessing. Um, anybody that's out there hearing, um, I was able to basically start making income, even with the income too, um, becoming an affiliated being able to help people and also make an extra income, I'm using the income that I'm getting from Nove to basically re- remodel my house slowly but for surely. Wow. So, yes, I'm truly blessed to be a part of this company, to be a young homeowner, and the goal is to um, help everybody become homeowners. Everybody have an 800 credit score, if um, and um, I'm glad that we're all doing it together. So. That's my testimonial, and I'm so happy to be on here and giving it, um, giving this testimonial to everybody, um, and hope everybody can plug in as well. Wow, wow! I really appreciate that. There's, there's some parts of, of your story that I've never heard before, and that's just amazing to see where you come from, to see what you're doing in this company. Salute to you. Keep doing what you're doing, and I'm glad you're a part of this uh, organization as well. You heard it here, guys. We we heard it here first. Like we are trying to create, and we are creating, 800 credit scores. Now, when we our goal is to create a thousand 800 credit scores. Now they say that an 800 credit score is worth what? A hundred thousand in buying power. Okay, a hundred thousand in buying power. So when we create one thousand 800 credit scores, that means we just injected a hundred million dollars back into our communities. Now think about what we can do with that. And with financially literate dollars, not just money falling from the sky, not welfare money, you know, not just here something for free money, but money that it took people intelligence and strategy to get. Now they have access to that kind of money. Imagine what they're going to be doing with that. Imagine the homeowners, the business owners and what's going to come out of that. So if you if that's part of what you think in your mind's eyes, like, hey, that's something that I would love to be a part of. All you got to do is get started with this. Let me tell you a little bit more about what Nove actually does and how we can solve each one of these problems that we were talking about earlier. Now, Nove offers a holistic approach to getting a better credit score. Most companies only attack one thing. You know, one of our uh, clients says that, hey, they were paying $120 a month to another credit repair company. And all they were doing is focusing on one section, which is the payment history. Now, we know that accounts for 192 points, and that's great, but that's not even half of your credit score. 
right? So that's why we offer a holistic approach that looks at every aspect to helping you get a better better score. So the first thing that we do is we have mailed for you dispute letters. It's an ongoing process that's done for you. And it can take you know anywhere from 30 days to uh, six months to actually complete a complete round of these dispute letters because there's about six different letters that we have to mail in order. Now, you don't even need to know what those letters are. You don't need to know when they need to come in and when they need to go out. All you have to do is let us know when the credit when the credit bureaus um, reply, okay? Because the credit bureaus are thinking this this is that you and them are talking, so they're going to mail you back their responses. All you do is scan, fax that uh, response into Nove, and Nove knows exactly what to do next, what letter to send out next on your behalf. That's the only thing you have to do. Next. We have preferred primary trade lines and rent reporting. So what Lisbeth was saying earlier is that one of our one of the tools that she used was trade lines. So basically, this means that you are guaranteed approval for most of these trade lines. All you do is pay a down payment on them, and it instantly adds a new account to your credit report without a new inquiry, because that's major. Remember, new inquiries bring your score down. But you need a good mix of credit so you need to be adding credit at the same time, right? So how can you do that? By adding primary trade lines. This is one of the things that we can do for you. And not only do these trade lines report to one credit bureau, but most of them report to all three. Really important. It's not going to do you any good <laughs> for just to be pointing to one or maybe none. You need them to report to all three, and we know exactly which ones that you need to use, and we give you access to those. We have preferred secure credit cards as well, and debt and um, excuse me, credit and debt attorneys as well. Now, this is amazing. This is one of my favorite features that we offer because, remember, I said you need to find someone to, that's going to do it free of charge. Why do you want them to do it free of charge? Because you want to make sure that they actually are fighting for you. You know, when you go to the courtroom, you don't want to represent yourself. You know, you want to represent. You want someone to represent you that knows all the loopholes, and that's going to help you. Now, if they're working for free, then you know they're going to work as hard as they can to get that settlement. And you got you actually get paid $500 when they win. That's amazing. Now, we also have many other tools. We had an online budgeting tool, a debt manager that helps you get out of debt 50 to 75% faster because you can actually see the debt falling off. You can actually snowball and, and see the debt falling off. You have to have a plan, but you have to be able to see the plan as well. Because compound interest is something you can't calculate in your head. Trust me, they didn't get you into this credit mess into the, and into debt on accident. It was a calculated plan. And so to get out of debt, you need a calculated plan. And we got that for you as well. You also get a 27-page wealth manual that helps you become more financially literate and much, much more. I can go on and on about what we do here. But it's up to you. No one can fix your credit but you. No one can learn for you but you, just like no one can sleep for you but you. You know, no one can eat for you but you. No one can fix your credit but you. You have to actually get started and in order to see anything uh, start to happen on your report because it's not going to fix itself, y'all. It's not going to fix itself. And if we're going to help a thousand people get an 800 credit score, we need people that's going to stand up and say, hey, me next. So get back to the person that shared this information with you so you can start to get qualified for a new uh, loan to purchase a new home. So you can get approved for that lower car payment. Uh, so you can actually save money by paying little to no interest ever again. So you can rebuild your communities and your neighborhood. Now, all I want to say is welcome to Nove and the financial future that you deserve. Thanks everybody for tuning in.